holy. Be Holy is a broadcast ministry of believers dedicated to saving the souls of all men and women. We teach the words of God that people all over the world may hear the voice of God and obey Him. God doesn't want to show us His wrath or His anger. He just wants us to repent and be holy. And after one repents, he or she can be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. But certainly not before they repent. Listen, we really can't even discuss prayer until one repents. Yes, hell is making its way towards the unrepentant heart. But it is Be Holy's commandment and mission to warn everybody. Not to control, to warn. The Word of God is spirit and it's life. That's why we take the Word of God seriously. We're not using shameful deeds and underhanded methods. We're not trying to trick anyone or... Or change the word of God. We tell the truth before God and all those who are honest and live by truth. They know the truth. They realize that we are telling the truth. Listen, friend, we've been preaching and teaching for over 20 plus years and the Lord Jesus is satisfied with our efforts and we want to keep it that way. Next on Be Holy. If you want healing, you can start with this. Be holy. All right, listen, we want to welcome everybody back to Be Holy. We're glad that you're with us on today. Today is a splendid day, splendid, 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 wonderful day. Oh, I know it is. Regardless of what you're going through, it's still good. It's still good. The day is good. God, give us a few more hours. Get it right with him. Just a few more. Just a few more. So don't you sit there worrying about what you're going through and what's happening and what's not happening. You concentrate on God and then God will concentrate on your problems. Give God your problems, man. You don't have to sit there and worry about it. You don't. Let him worry about it. He can. He's the one who can fix everything. Let God worry about your problems. He said, cast all your cares on him. He cares for you. So I know you care and you know you care, but you cast it to God and let God deal with it. But make sure you're trying to do what's best and what's right. You know, you, as, as best as much as you know is right. Try to do that. The best you know, do the best you can and then let God do the rest. How about that? You know, I, I would love to say I have all the answers, just like you would love to say that you have all the answers, but you don't. Only God has all the answers. And if he has all the answers, let him answer the questions. Let him deal with the problems. <laughs> let him fix the problem. You know, it is. And, and, and because God is who he is, his his word is actually true to us. So what he says, actually, he has to do if he says it. You kind of get it? If he said it, then he will do it. He has to do it. That's his words. That Those are his words, not ours. I didn't ask him to write it. I didn't ask him to tell me that. If he said it, then it will be done. That's how it is. And so <clears throat> we got some things we're going to read in here today. Just like I told you, if you want to be healed, we're going to start here. <laughs> we got a good lesson for you today. It's quick, but it's good. Proverbs chapter three. Proverbs chapter three, and then we're going to start at verse number seven. Proverbs three, and we're going to start at verse number seven. Now, before we start, head on over to podbean.com. Well, not now. Don't head to podbean.com now. No, don't do it now. But write it down. Podbean.com later and grab the Be Holy broadcast. Uh, links and share them share them all right listen verse number seven says this now this is what god says and and this man might not even known what he was writing but god made him write it made him say it so it would be written here it is don't be impressed with your own wisdom that, that that's period right there don't be impressed with your own wisdom because what do we know we don't really know anything we don't. We, we think we know. We might have experienced a few things, but we don't really know anything. OK, he says, don't be impressed with your own wisdom. Instead, fear the Lord and turn away from evil. Hmm. Don't be impressed with your own wisdom, but instead fear the Lord and turn away from evil. So our own wisdom will lead to evil even when we're trying to do the right thing our own wisdom will lead to evil hmm don't be impressed with with your own wisdom instead fear the lord and turn away from evil your own wisdom is never going to lead you to the right thing it's never going to lead you to the right wisdom 
You, you kind of get what I'm saying. And there's only one right wisdom. That's God. So our way of thinking and our knowledge and our own wisdom will lead to evil. So and he says, it's dear fear of the Lord, fear the Lord and turn away from evil. You know, like like uh, you could be wanting to follow after God. You really could. You you be honest and you want to follow God. But then some kind of way, your own wisdom plays its way in. And it could lead you the wrong way. God can see what you're trying to do. He can see, he sees that you're sincere about it. But then that's when he'll correct you and say, hey, you're sincere, but you're going the wrong direction. Turn this direction. Go this way. Go, go right instead of left. Go, go this way instead of that way. Turn around and come back this way. He'll tell you that. He'll tell you that. But if you're not listening, you'll only listen to your own wisdom and you won't listen to God. But God can see that you're being sincere. But is we used to say a thing that you could actually be sincerely wrong sometimes. And you just have to hmm, instead fear the Lord and turn away from evil. Verse number eight. Then you will have healing for your body and strength for your bones. Hmm. So if you want to be healed, turn away from your own wisdom. And fear the Lord and, and turn away from evil. And then you will have healing for your body. So if you're wanting to be healed or you're needing to be healed, this is the way to do it. Start here. Don't be impressed with your own wisdom. Turn away from evil. Fear the Lord. And then you will have healing for your hmm, your body and strength for your bones. Hmm. That that's that's straightforward. And you know, we we at Be Holy, we're we're trying to do um we do practical things that you can do. We, we talk about practical things that you can do today to be holy and start being holy and get results. Turn away from your own wisdom and fear the Lord and turn away from evil. And then you will have healing for your body and strength for your bones. That is straightforward. I don't even need to explain anything for that. Some people say, well, how do you how do you turn away? from evil well you already know evil is wrong and you know what you're doing that is evil i don't have to tell you what you're doing is evil you know that what you're doing is evil i know what i do is evil you get what i'm saying i don't have to have anybody tell me that yeah you probably shouldn't have done that you probably shouldn't have done this i know what evil is just like you know what evil is turn away from it it could still be there the evil is still there but you turn your back to it and you go another direction Hmm. God agree with me then you got You understand what I'm telling you. You, you, <clears throat> you understand exactly what is going on here in this verse. God tells us to turn away from evil. The evil, it, he didn't remove the evil. The evil is still standing there, but instead of you facing the evil and going with the evil, you turn a different direction and go away from the evil. You don't walk into evil. You don't, you don't do that. We were reading a verse the other day at the church where it talked about uh, people who just walk straight into uh, evil. They, they see the warnings, but they walk right into the evil. Well, then they have to deal with the consequences after that. But a prudent person will see the warnings and step away from evil. So God is telling us again, step away from evil. And then what will happen? You'll have healing for your body and strength for your bones. Hmm. Then you got number nine. Uh, this, this is another one. Honor the Lord with your wealth and with the best part of everything you produce. So in the, what was it? The King James, it talks about the first fruits. <clears throat> and so people are talking about, oh, tithing's not of the Bible. We don't, we're not supposed to tithe now. And uh, that's of the law and everything else. Well, they were tithing long before the law. People of God were tithing long before the law. The law was temporary. And I'm not saying that you're going to hell because you don't tithe. But this is what it says here. Honor the Lord with your wealth and the best part of your everything that uh, uh, the best part of everything that you produce, which is the first parts of it. The best parts offer that. And then what will happen? Then he will fill your barns with grain. He'll make sure you have enough food to eat. You have valuables. 
You have enough food to eat. Matter of fact, you have enough to feed everybody else besides yourself, too. Uh, honor the Lord with your wealth and with the best part of everything that you produce, and he will fill your barns with grain. You have your own grocery store. You have your own food. And your vets will overflow with good wine. See, everybody wants that part. Oh, I want good wine. <laughs> No, 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 no. Mm -mm. When you talk about good wine, you know how Jesus changed water to wine? He, he changed it because it, it the worth of it. Wine does a lot of things. I mean, I don't drink wine other than communion. And then I really don't like it then. But still, uh, it's alcohol. When you overuse, when you when you abuse the wine, then you become alcoholic and then it becomes a problem. But wine actually does a lot of things. I'm not saying it's good. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying he will fill your barns with grain and your vats will overflow with wine. So the storage of your of your wine will overflow. Hmm. Now, most of us are not farmers at all. So we wouldn't understand this. Really, uh, we don't farm, but we do actually work in different in a different capacity you know so whether we're working here or there it's still for money it's still for an increase of some sort and so whatever it is that you produce whatever kind of work you do uh the first fruits of that is supposed to be honored by the lord or no you're supposed to honor the lord with that you know you honor him with that so uh nowadays a lot of times we're honoring god with the uh the first amount of money that we produce that's what we do or uh um, I sold a piece of property, this, that, and other, and I got this amount for it. Well, I'm going to honor the Lord with the, you know, first fruits of that, the 10% of that, or however you do it. But it's saying here, if you want healing, turn from evil, turn away from your way of thinking. If you need, uh, whatever it is that you produce, you want that to be better and greater. Dedicate the first fruits of that to the Lord and watch it grow, whether it's in a new company, uh, uh, a new house, a new family, uh, anything that you're producing, anything that you're growing can be used here. If you really want it to grow, if you really want it, hey, honor the Lord with the first fruits of it and watch him grow it. You can't grow it. Only he can grow it. So we might as well take full advantage of God growing that produce so honor the lord and be healed thanks for listening to be holy with your host leonardo butler our be holy podcast is at podbean or contact us at beholy116 at gmail.com or 614-268-7757 thanks for listening to be holy with your host leonardo butler and for your convenience, you can now text the word GIFT to 614-363-6133. Again, the word GIFT to 614-363-6133. And we thank you for your support. Be holy.